Hi, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all doing? Wednesday. We in Wednesday. And it's about a little after 4, probably 4.15 in the afternoon. Yeah, Fuzzy said afternoon. I like that. Fuzzy's working night shift tonight. And the weekend. So, there we go. Lovely. Everybody knows I prefer nights anyway. But, uh, oh well. Due to some complications with work outside of our place, but uh, still one of our people is having to cover some things on the other side. I might have mentioned that the other day. And uh, I'm going to cover some night shifts because I'm about the only one crazy enough to work days and nights. And, you know, I like nights. So it works. We're also redoing the way we do some paperwork. So I get to go in and see how it runs at night and, and we'll get everything smoothed out. So uh, anyway, going to be a lot of fun. Going to enjoy it. Hoorah. All right. So uh, it's Williams. And I'm going to use the Williams shaving stick because, uh, you know, I have one. I could put it up, never use it, have it forever. You know, it was given to me not to be made a monument out of. I feel it was given to me to be used. Hold that thought. <coughs> Sorry about that. But uh, anyway, so that's what we're using today. And we're going to finish up with uh, Lustry's Coachman, which we all know is renamed Clubman. You might not know that if you've never tried it, but you can trust old Fuzzy on this one. Heck, it's election season. Trust me, it's clubbing. Ah. Already got that voting stuff out of the way. I did the early voting for the first time. It just so happens I was out the other night, uh, other day, went over to the uh, local science museum, went to a little planetarium show that uh, you know, was about the moonshot. I think I mentioned that. Really interesting. And just literally right across uh, from that in town there is the uh, city hall behind the old uh, capitol. Which the old Louisiana capital, if you didn't know it, looks like a castle. I was surprised to see that. Uh, what I read, Mark Twain hated the thing. But anyway, uh, there it is. It was sitting up on a bluff over the river, and it looked like a castle. Well, just behind where that is is City Hall. And uh, that's where we went and did the early voting. So I got that out of the way. So I have done my civic duty for this cycle and voted for who I felt was the best candidates. And uh, also on the various other constitutional amendments and ignorant BS that they put on ballots these days. Anyway, my opinion might not mean much, but I got my vote in. So if I vote, I can complain. If you don't vote, don't complain. Always been that way. If you don't vote, don't complain. Well, my vote's not going to count. That's not the point sometimes. Every vote counts in one way or the other. But if you're not going to vote and voice your opinion on how it ought to be, don't complain when things don't go your way. All right. However, I am not a uh, if you don't like it, leave it type. We're all different in our each ways. And you're not always going to agree with everything anybody does. And you're not always going to agree with the way everything goes. Simple. But uh, as long as it's an honest system. Yeah, I know. Don't start laughing at that honest system thing. But as long as it's an honest system, then, uh, you know, we all have to agree to disagree sometimes. Well, they were all with the soap stick on while we've been yapping. I'm not going to get into politics too much. But, uh... And yeah. these sticks are just really fun for me. They do a really good job. This is the Smog 1305, you may have noticed. One of my favorite board brushes. I think everybody should have a Smog 1305. Or something like it in their arsenal. They make a lot of different brushes, but uh, this 1305 is just a really, to me, the, the size is good. The performance, the way the handle feels, everything is just proportionally right for me. And you can see how good a job it does with the uh, vintage Williams. Does a good job with the modern Williams. Truth be known about the matter. Anyway, we're not going to go there. So I'm going to get a second shave in with the Razzle Rock Hawk. And the only difference this time is going to be I changed blades. I had some feather. Uh, 
professional super blades and uh, these were with a uh, another razor that I have that uses these uh, an unmentionable as we would call them at Toast and I wanted to try a feather blade now in the world of shaving everybody's always hollering about feathers feathers are sharp I agree but you have a certain group of people and I'm gonna pick on some friends of mine but you have a certain group of people who will tell you only feathers can cut my beard horse feathers I use one and it's done and it's dead and it goes away and I don't think so now that being said some people are face and head shavers and they talk about they use one on their face one on their head there's more than one person one particular person comes to mind and again it's a friend of mine shaving buddy of mine I like the guy but uh, you know so anyway we put a feather in is it gonna make a difference Nah, it's gonna shave it's a razor it's a blade it's what they do you know what I'm saying it's that thing they do but uh, anyway I like these uh, feather professionals in the unmentionable I had them for and I didn't really show it off but I had another two day plus growth it would have been two days if I'd have shaved this morning so I've gone all the way into the afternoon so it's two and a half days growth here and I would suspect just what I'm getting a really nice shave it's a light razor and I know some people feel that light razors you have to put more pressure and you're more apt to cut yourself if you feel that you're more apt to cut yourself with a light razor because you have to put more pressure I say work on your technique that's like saying I was driving a truck that had a standard and I'm more than likely to roll down a hill and hit a car behind me because it's a standard work on your technique just say all right first pass over with and I can tell you it's a nice one everything's nice and smooth and close I could probably do a touch-up pass and be done of course that's with most razors and most blades I say that but uh, you know it's Williams Wednesday we're shaving with vintage Williams we're gonna use all of it we can plus it's our normal routine and I like sticking to routines. so here we go with the second pass of Williams ah the vintage stuff is so nice we'll add a little hot water here we're using hot water because cold water shaving is just silly unless it's an emergency and you know a necessity all right look at her paintbrush strokes but he's painting happy little trees and i still cannot do the bob boss voice for that all right so this thing is wide look at that and does it make it any harder to get into places and then no it doesn't doesn't make it any harder to clean up the goatee doesn't make it any harder to get around now that being said I don't shave around my mustache would it be any harder getting under your nose I don't think so from what I've been told but I don't you know I can't show that because I don't I don't shave under there but I don't think it would be any harder well I tell you what clears up around the goatee nice and easy no worries there Now, the question I get posed is, is it better than a traditional injector? No, it's not. Is it worse than a traditional injector? No, it's not. It shaves. It's a razor. But I much prefer a real injector. All in my head, maybe? Perhaps. Could very well be. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I see no need to reinvent the wheel, folks. I really, really don't. Everybody wants a gadget that does everything quicker, faster, better. And usually, 
It's just a different way of doing the same thing. That's all it is. All right. I got gas for under $2 a gallon the other day. How's that for progress? Thought that was pretty nice. It was just barely under $2. $1.989, which is $1.99 a gallon. But uh, that's not so bad at all. People can whine all they want to about certain people. We're not getting into it here. But, uh, you know, look at the numbers. Things are just not so bad. All right, so let's get our touch-up pass going here. For some reason, we've become a nation of let's whine about it. Instead of just getting the job done with what we have, everybody wants to whine about it. All right. Here we go. Touch-up pass. Man, that thing just slides nice and easy. I don't find the angle any harder to get than on any other razor. I don't find the fact that it's wide to be any kind of a hamper to the process. Get on to go to you a little bit better there in the middle. Now that I can see a little bit better. Trim it right up to the edge. Beautiful. And there we go. Another great shave from this razor. All right, this razor is going to go back to the owner before long. And uh, I very much, very, very much appreciate the loan. It is an enjoyable razor to use. I won't say it's not. It's not something I would buy. Uh, you know, I would endorse this a whole lot more than I would the one that uses the half of an unmentionable blade. That's, that's it's just crazy to me to build a razor like that. However, newsflash. Uh, I have been offered the chance to use one of those and see how it shaves. I'll take the chance. I will be happy to use it and give my thoughts on it. I'm sure it's a razor and it's going to have a blade in it, so I'm sure it's going to give a good shave. But that'll be coming up here in a couple of weeks, probably. In the next week, supposedly. And uh, we'll see how that works. But for today, what a wonderful Williams Wednesday shave. Have you not joined in Williams Wednesday? Ah, uh, come on, folks. You got to get in on Williams Wednesday. Jeez. If you don't have the vintage stuff, use the new stuff. New stuff works just fine. Remember, you don't need buttercream, boys and girls. What you need is a nice, select, protective layer. And Williams gives you that. And it gives you to it at a very cost-efficient price. And it feels great to use something that's been around that long, even if, you know, it's been changed a little bit. Let me put it to you this way. I know people that like Ford trucks because their granddaddy drove Ford trucks back in the day. And if you tell them the Ford truck from back then has had so many changes that the version today is nothing like the version back then, they're going to laugh at you and throw stuff at you. It's a Ford. Been made since whenever. Okay. It's a shave soap. Williams. It's been made since whenever. It's pretty much the same thing, boys and girls. Pretty much the same thing. You can holler that if you get nostalgic for the new Williams, that it's just silly because you're nostalgic for something that never was because that's not the same soap. Okay. Whatever. It's all the same. So, anyway, there we go with our Williams rant for today. And we're going to leave it at that. We're not going to get into the, uh, the other rants that we normally get into. We'll do that next time, maybe. But as it is, we're picking to go get ready for work. Got to stop pick up some coffee on the way to work because uh, I didn't drink up all I had at work. It happens, trust me. Y'all have a great day. Uh, look, if there's a razor or a razor soap combination or anything along these lines you'd like to see, I'll probably either have it or I have access to it or something very similar that we can do. So if you want to see a certain razor, a certain type of razor, uh, whatever, a certain type of soap, whatever, well, let me know. I, look, you can send me an email if you want to. It's really easy. Really easy. Watching you two, WCHNU2 at gmail.com. Watching you, you know, WCHNU. <laughs> Ten years in casino surveillance. I'm always watching, trust me. Fuzzy watching you. Trust me on that one right there. All right. So, uh, you know, if you don't want to put it out here in the comments, send me an email. Send me an email anytime if you don't put something in the comments or just to say, hey, or, you know, I hate your channel or I wish you'd slit your throat or whatever. 
feel free to email me. It doesn't matter. Watching you two at gmail.com. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. I'm going to get ready and go to work now that I'm all nice and cleaned up. Kind of feel sorry for folks that can't get a shave like this. And it's a good shave. The feather blades do great. They really do. And as far as the longevity of these blades, I don't know because I never use one very long. I mean, the immense one I have, I use it every once in a while. Um, but I know regular feather blades in the, uh, you know, the unmentionables as we call them, get dull quicker for me. I know for sure the single edge, these fine uh, stainless steel feathers that we use in the valets and the valet auto straps, I know for sure they get, they get dull quicker. No doubt about it. And their carbon steel feather blades for the valets are garbage. I know that for sure. So I don't know about these, but it did a really great job. The, uh, what was this I used the other day? The uh, Captain Titan Mild Blade did a really good job the other day. Is there a big difference between the shades? I couldn't tell you any difference at all. They both gave a great shave. Sorry, that's all I got for, you know, a, a blade review. Was that it's a razor with a blade and it shaved good. All right, well, there you go. We'll see y'all next time. I've tried to get out of here for the last minute and a half. This time we're gone. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you.